There is a type of chronic pain that affects the bladder. The person feels constant daily pain in the bladder for many months and the doctors can't find a cause or treatment for this problem. Today, I'll answer some questions. How common is this problem? What could be the cause of painful bladder? Is there any strategy to alleviate the symptom? So, let's talk about painful bladder today. The bladder is an organ that sits inside the pelvis. It's the reservoir for urine produced by the kidneys. It accumulates urine until it gets full. Then it sends signals to the brain when it's full and the person finds a convenient time to empty it. The bladder contains receptors for pain and they are usually activated when the bladder is too full. And the pain can get very intense and uncomfortable, so the person will stop anything they are doing to empty the bladder before the volume can cause any damage to the muscles around the bladder. Yes, the bladder contains muscles around it to be able to contract and empty the bladder completely. Some people do not wait until all the urine is drained and it's like they are always in a rush. So there is any leftover in the bladder, it may grow bacteria and lead to a bladder infection. This is another common cause of painful bladder. If bacteria grows in the bladder, it will cause an inflammation. The person may notice blood in the urine and burning sensation when passing urine. The treatment is with antibiotics and lots of fluids to wash the bladder. If you like this video so far, hit the subscribe button here to learn more about chronic pain. So far, we saw that the common causes of bladder pain are when the bladder is too full and when there is a bacterial infection and we call this urinary tract infection or UTI. There are other causes of bladder pain like bladder tumor that is compressed in the bladder, endometriosis in females and enlargement of the prostate in males. If a person has kidney stones, they may feel bladder pain when the stones reach the bladder. People with neurogenic bladder may also feel bladder pain. There are many conditions that may cause neurogenic bladder, for example, a spinal cord injury, stroke, and multiple sclerosis. There is a condition called interstitial cystitis, where there is a chronic, painful bladder with some degree of inflammation of the walls of the bladder. The person will feel a strong urge to urinate. They have frequent urination, like many times every hour. They may also have pain in the vagina or scrotum. But the doctors can't find any bacterial growth and the symptoms do not get better with antibiotics treatment. It is a type of chronic pain that we don't know the origin of it. Some researchers are investigating if this is an autoimmune disease, like the person's immune system is attacking the bladder. This condition may affect people who have other types of chronic pain, like fibromyalgia, endometriosis, irritable bowel syndrome, and chronic low back pain. So this suggests that there might be some sort of dysfunction of the pain system in people with interstitial cystitis. These patients may have central sensitization of the pain system and they are unable to block pain sensations because they do not activate the descending pathways that block pain. Please remember that this video is not intended to give medical advice. If you have a condition that is causing pain, talk to your doctor for a diagnosis and individual care plan for you. This video is for educational purposes only. If there is a medical emergency, please call an ambulance or go to the nearest emergency department. In the absence of a better explanation for chronic bladder pain, the best advice we give to our patients includes the following 10 strategies. Number one, quit smoking. Smoking causes many problems to the body, including bladder cancer. If you want to learn more about smoking and pain, watch my other video here. Two, avoid drinking alcohol. Alcohol is an irritant to the bladder and it may also cause other problems to the nerves, potentially causing neuropathic pain. In addition, people who are heavy alcohol drinkers may like vitamins and are more prone to cancer. Watch my other video about alcohol and pain. Three, preference to an anti-inflammatory diet that is rich in vegetables, omega-3, fibers, and avoiding junk foods like sugars, caffeine, pops, and trans fats. 
I have another video that I explained the anti-inflammatory diet. Fourth, reduce stress levels. Learn mind-body interventions like skills from cognitive behavior therapy, meditation, and mindfulness-based stress reduction. Here, watch my other video that I talk about mind-body interventions for chronic pain. Fifth, practice regular physical exercises like walking, dancing, weight training, stretching. I have many videos in my channel that I demonstrate exercises. Six, start a bladder training routine. This involves training the bladder to hold larger amounts of urine. Usually a person with painful bladder goes to the washroom multiple times every hour and it's possible to train the bladder to hold urine for longer periods. Seven, if the person has chronic pelvic pain, which involves the muscles of the perineal and abdominal areas, it is recommended to see a physical therapist specialized in chronic pelvic pain. Eight, consult with a physician specialized in bladder symptoms to assess for interventions like bladder stretching, bladder installation, or surgery. 9. Consult with a pain specialist for possible interventions using medications. This could include prescription antidepressants like amitriptyline or nortriptyline. These medications may help to relax the bladder and hold urine for longer periods. Watch my other video about amitriptyline here. There are also some interventions with injections to the bladder and nerve blocks that may help to reduce the pain, even if temporarily. And then, get knowledge about chronic pain, brain retraining, and pain neuroscience. There are many websites, books, and resources available to patients. If you have not heard yet, I have a book that I recommend to you. It's called The 8 Steps to Conquer Chronic Pain. And you can find it anywhere where books are sold. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like it here. And here you can watch other videos that I have in my channel. Goodbye.